Chef Nick Liu is here with a spin on spring rolls. Hey, Chef. Montreal smoked meat spring rolls. Like, how? Mind blown. <laughs> Why? Tell me everything. How did you come up with this? <laughs> Well, I'm Chinese and I'm Canadian, so this kind of represents me like in a spring roll, right? So um, Montreal smoked meat is an amazing meat to use in a spring roll because it's beautiful and it's fatty and it's smoky and it's got like all these great things that you need in a spring roll or I feel you need in a spring roll and it is super easy. And this is also something you can use with any type of kind of meat. And if you want, if you want to use something that's a little bit less fatty, you can always use like Canadian turkey, and that's beautiful as well. And um, for this recipe, I've got uh, my smoked uh, Montreal meat, and all I've done is shredded it up a bit. And I've got some bean sprouts here, and then I'm gonna have to make a mayonnaise or an aioli. So classic aioli style. I've got an egg, some mustard because we want that mustard because mustard and smoked meat. Amazing. Uh, I've got some caraway salt, uh, some lime, lemon juice, garlic, and some olive oil. And that'll be for my uh, aioli. But first, we're going to get into the spring roll mix. So I've got my bean sprouts, uh, which I'm just going to mix into my meat. And this is going to give it a nice little kind of freshness and a little bit uh, of a break from just having a pure meat spring roll, which can also be good, but also I think is necessary to have a little bit of freshness in there. So I'm just going to mix that in. And like I said, this is super easy, and I love this recipe. We actually serve this at Dilo, and people love it. We do it as like little extras and VIP kind of treats. If we all have the pastrami yes. uh, or the Montreal smoked meat, are you like chopping it down really finely uh, so that it's going to mix in with the uh, with the breadcrumbs? Basically, you can go to your your supermarket and order, or even a butcher will have uh, some Montreal smoked meat, and you get it sliced, right? So you'll get slices of it. And all I've done is actually just rip it like this, oh, right? So I just ripped it with my hands. If you feel like if you feel like taking a knife and kind of chopping it and running it through like that. You can do that as well, um, but I kind of like having kind of like some bigger pieces and smaller pieces and just having it random. I like to play with food with my hands, so um, this is what I do. This is my method. And um, these are the medium spring roll wrappers. You can get small and large as well. This is a brand that I like as well. And um, you get a packet of them. You'll get them frozen, so you'll want to dethaw them before you actually use them. And they'll be nice and kind of malleable. Um, I'm just going to pull one sheet from this whole stack and they'll probably come off in a bunch of, in a, in a few kind of layers. So you'll just have to watch for that and pull them up. Pull in them general, off. do you want to nice. make sure that they are, um, not too cold, not too warm? Cause I know when the wrappers sometimes get too warm, then they start becoming sticky and they're hard to work with. Yeah. And also you want to keep them nice and damp. So I would like keep them covered uh, with a cloth mm -hmm. until you're ready to move on to the next one because they do dry out pretty quickly. Um, so I've got my spring roll sheet uh -huh. and you just want to lay it in front of you like a diamond, right? So you've got the diamond shape and you're going to take about a, uh, a quarter cup of the mix and this should fill exactly six spring rolls. I've actually measured it out, so this is perfect. Um, you want to put the uh, meat at the bottom of the corner and just roll up halfway. So you got a halfway roll and take your egg wash and you just want to put a little egg wash on the top corner there just so we can seal that shut. I'm going to seal up two sides and then do the, the rest of the roll all the way through. Right, and we got a nice spring roll. And that looks beautiful, <laughs> Chef. Okay, so I assume we're gonna do some frying now. Good. I've got a, a pot of hot oil on there, and that's about uh, 350 degrees to 375. And we're just gonna let that go for now, and we're gonna get on to our aioli. So uh, the best kind of match for any type of sandwich for me is a mustard garlic mayonnaise, right? Which mm -hmm. is an aioli. And to do that, you wanna take your egg and separate the yolk with the whites. And you do it just like so. And you take your yolk, put it in your bowl. And I've got some lemon juice 
We'll throw that in there. I've got some garlic, and we're just gonna rasp that, and that's, for me, the easiest way to just ground up some garlic. Yellow mustard is the most important thing for this. Um, you can use Dijon or grainy mustard, but for a sandwich, a smoked meat sandwich, I recommend yellow mustard. Um, take a whisk, and we're just gonna mix all of that in. We're gonna take a little bit of salt, give that a pinch, and when you make a mayonnaise, you wanna add little bit by little bit. So I'm gonna put a, something underneath my bowl so it doesn't slip. Little bit by little bit oil. And you just wanna add this in little bits and if you add it too fast, you're gonna split your mayonnaise. Okay. See, these are the good chefy tips that make it all work out. And I love that we're just supposed to use good old fashioned yellow mustard. Sometimes you can't get any fancier than the basic stuff. The basic stuff is the stuff you need. And uh, you can make this easy on yourself. If you do have mayonnaise at home, um, you can skip the whole part about making your own mayonnaise and just add some uh, mustard to your mayonnaise. Yeah. So now that we have this ready to go, we're gonna put our mustard mayo there. And we're gonna take our spring roll out of the oil. That didn't take very long. No, they take about like three minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna stack these up like this. Yeah. Right? And for one of them, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it open just so you can see what it looks like. Right. It smokes got like all smoked meat perfection. Meat oh my gosh, that's so good. Deep fried and I'm gonna pastrami. Put that up like spring that. Spring roll, Montreal smoke meat, everything, all the good things. Aioli. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes terrible, eh, chef? Awful. Ew. It tastes horrible. <laughs> and just, sorry, just to finish, yeah. I've got caraway salt. I'm going to put caraway salt on there because caraway is what they use in, um, in rye, uh, rye bread. Yeah. So this is going to make it taste exactly like a um, Montreal smoked meat sandwich. All so the elements right 